Hi friends, Creature Teacher Emily here, and I am just hanging out with my friend, Mrs. Pickles. Yes, yeah, she is my African burrowing bullfrog. Give me a moment to contain her here. She is all over the place this morning. Oh, there she is. Look at her. Pickles, my friends. Yes, I call her Mrs. Pickles because she actually does have this cream colored throat here. If she was a male, that would be a more bright yellow color. African burrowing bullfrogs are actually one of the third largest frogs in the entire world, my friends. And they're actually only one of three frog species to have teeth. You heard that right, she has teeth. And that's because this big old bullfrog is not surviving off of just bugs alone, my friends. Those teeth of hers help her to take in larger prey. Now, she is not gonna show those off for us because she's not about to eat a meal, right? But those teeth actually come up from her bottom jaw. They're not real teeth, but they act like teeth. And those are what help her to pull her prey in and eat her prey. Now, as a bullfrog, one of the coolest things about my friend Mrs. Pickles is the fact that she is one of the most adaptable amphibians in the world, my friends, because she comes from Africa and they are actually commonly found in places like, whoop, there she goes, like Sub-Sahara Africa. And they do obviously love wetlands, but this frog actually spends about 10 months of the year underground. And that's because they do what's called estivate. Instead of hibernate, they estivate during the dry months. And they, I'm gonna see if she lets me show it off here. They actually have these really powerful hind legs. And back here, she has this spade that actually helps her to dig dig really deep holes and to bury herself underneath the ground. Then she can even shed layers of her skin to make a cocoon around herself to help keep her nice and moist and protected. And then she's just gonna lay there underground and wait. And then once the rains come and the ponds fill up with water again, she's gonna be able to come to the surface and have herself a nice meal. Now, my last favorite fun fact about these frogs is that the dads are actually the ones that are responsible for watching out for the tadpole babies. Once the eggs are laid, it only takes them a couple of days to hatch, but the male frog is the one that will make sure that they survive by even digging trenches into larger ponds in order to provide them with more water. If their little pond starts to dry up, dad is gonna make sure that they have plenty of water. Now, alternatively to that, my friends, they are carnivores, they do eat meat, and sometimes that does include their own little tadpoles. They are known to eat other frogs and lizards, right? So yes, while they are excellent protectors, they may also find you a tasty snack. It'd be interesting to have a bullfrog for a dad, wouldn't it, Mrs. Pickles? All right, my friends, thanks so much for joining us for another creature feature. Thanks so much, huh, Mrs. Pickles? She says yes, bye-bye now.